technology should you buy the iphone 14 pro max are waited out for the iphone 15. now i decided to make this video because subscriber asked me nick can you make a video about 14 pro max should i just wait for the 15 and i got to thinking about that because i've been checking the stock on these phones and they've been pretty difficult to get i mean some people are waiting till december now to get these things on shipment. A little quick tip, if you do go to the Apple Store application every morning at like 7 a.m., sometimes in your area you can snag one or two that might be available, but the demand for these phones in particular have been high because the iPhone 14 Plus and the 14 models were seen as not even upgrades to a lot of consumers, even though there are a couple of neat new features a lot of people are just not taking a big liking to them. So the pros have been incredibly popular. And um, so the question is though, should you wait it out? Because you know these phones are already a couple months old and you're still not able to just go get them easily. Some people will be able to snag them, but you might be waiting on shipment. The first one is the price. So I think if you're looking for a similar price that you've been getting before, I would definitely consider getting this phone right here. Also, there's new holiday returns, extended returns, but I would I would definitely get this right now, like because I think they're gonna launch an iPhone Ultra next year or something a little more premium, and the price mo might go up, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did it. I'm just saying there is a potential that could happen, but I don't see Apple ever going down in the prices on these Pro Max devices, so you're good on the price here. They might also launch a titanium version next year of the 14 or the 15 ultra or 15 max we'll have to see what happens there but stainless steel is also strong but i i wouldn't be surprised i mean they put titanium like on the apple watch ultra so i i wouldn't be surprised if they want to match up with an iphone with the ultra you know apple watch lineup it would make total sense so i wouldn't be surprised if we seen that now the next one is the design and build i probably wouldn't wait in this area too much either unless of course you're looking for looking forward to seeing something like a iphone ultra because i think they're going to keep dynamic island for sure next year and they're probably going to launch maybe a red color hopefully something a little bit different colorways they might even shrink the dynamic island or make it you know a little bit thinner we'll have to see if that happens but i think you know, the way Apple's history has shown, we're gonna see basically the same phone once again next year, probably with improved battery life, again, better performance as always, and maybe a couple new features like a better camera, of course, um, specifically probably better battery life and maybe that ultra model. So I, design wise, I think this is still a go. I would just go get this. You know, it definitely feels different than the iPhone 13 Pro Max with Dynamic Island, and it feels much different than some of the older iPhones. So definitely it's a step in the right direction. I don't see it changing massively next year. Now, when it comes to display quality, this is also a go right now. Now, the reason I say that is because, you know, you're already getting 2000 nits of brightness. Like this is the brightest phone I have right now. And I don't see it getting much brighter. I mean, why would it need to get much brighter than this? This is ridiculous bright already. I mean, maybe it will, but sharpness wise, I don't see it getting much sharper. They've kept basically the same resolutions across the board for the past several years. It's still OLED, still the top of the line display. So in terms of just pure display quality, again, if you're looking for maybe, I think if they do an ultra, they'll probably go 6.9 inches and keep the Pro Max at the 6.7 inch mark. But you know, other than that, if you want a slight couple uh, 0.2 inches bigger, this is definitely gonna be definitely a display that's still premium quality right now. So I definitely wouldn't wait it out if you're just looking for display quality. That's not gonna be a major reason to wait. The next one is software. Another reason not to wait because Apple products have proven in the past that they are supported for an incredibly long time. And I don't see it getting any different here with this phone. I mean, this has the Apple A16. This phone will be updated with the latest version of the software, just like if you're using a 13 Pro Max right now, you're getting the same experience essentially that I'm getting here, sans dynamic island. Other than that, you're gonna be just fine. So I would definitely not go ahead and do the upgrade to the iPhone 15, or I would not wait for the iPhone 15 if you're just looking for software. That's definitely not a reason to wait. The next one is the camera. 
Now, again, I probably wouldn't wait here either. And the reason I wouldn't wait is because this is already a fantastic camera, 48 megapixels, incredible 4K video, cinematic. And yes, we all know at this point, Apple's camera is gonna get better every year. That's the point. They're constantly improving the product. But at the same time, I think we've gotten to a point where these phone cameras are so good that they're only making minor tweaks every year. Like if you're using a 13 Pro Max, for example, you know, you're gonna get competitive results with my iPhone 14 Pro Max right here is what I'm saying. And I think next year your 14 Pro Max will get competitive results with the 15 Pro Max or a 15 Ultra, maybe a little bit stronger, but that's just spec. I'm just speculating. They might launch Ultra. I'm speculating based on some rumors I've seen. That doesn't mean that's going to happen, but if they do, that'll probably be the one to go to. But in terms of camera, if you need a phone right now and you need a really good one, this one provides everything you're going to be looking for. Macro mode, ultra wide, zoom, you know, video. Now, if you're looking for a really long reach, this is not the phone for you. But great cinematic video, slow motion. It's all there. It feels pretty good right now. So I definitely would just go ahead and pick up a 14 Pro Max if you want a really good camera right now. Storage is a potential reason to wait. They might launch a two terabyte version of iPhone eventually. I could see that happening. They do have those options for Macs, and if they wanna charge more, they definitely might launch that in the future. But I would say that the, you know, this, they still offer one terabyte now, so, I mean, that's probably way more storage than a lot of people need, you know, but if you need more, uh, you might wanna consider waiting on that. Battery life is definitely a reason to wait. I can confirm that I haven't been getting my favorite battery life ever on an iPhone, but this is still an all day phone with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It does drain quite a bit when I blast that brightness though, and I'm using it heavy. Um, it's about a one day phone for me. It's not that two days, and it has got better with some updates, but if you're looking for better battery life, I think Apple is going to focus a lot on improving the efficiency and the battery life of next year's iPhone 15. That's gonna be a big deal. I feel like so I would wait it out if you're looking for major battery upgrades, but if you're just looking for an all day phone, you can get that right now with the 14 Pro or Pro Max. Audio performance is something that I don't think you're gonna have an issue with at all with this phone. So I probably wouldn't wait it out too much on here because the audio performance is already solid on this phone. Let me go ahead and turn off Bluetooth. Google Pixel 7 Pro versus Galaxy S22 Ultra. And it's often an overlooked feature on this phone. It actually sounds better than a lot of the Android phone competition and much richer and clearer. Um, specifically, you know, when you play at the high volumes, when you get this to the high volumes, a lot of Android phones I've tried are just really tinny and weak sounding compared to this phone right here. So definitely audio, I wouldn't wait it out. It has great speakers right now. Now, when it comes to the phone call quality, again, not a reason to wait. They just put the X65 modems in here. I'm getting incredible signal strength and I'm getting the you know really good 5G performance on here. So that's not a reason to wait. Now, if you wanna hold on to your physical SIM slot and you're not ready for eSIM just yet, that's a good reason to wait. And then of course, you know, they have the crash detection and stuff on here like that, but that's probably not a reason to go jump right now. And I just wanna talk again a little bit about availability. You know, if you're looking for an iPhone 14 Pro Max, sometimes you just can't get them easily right now, especially if you buy at Apple stores. Some, some carriers do have them available and depending on where you're at, they'll easily be available because the stock is spread across the country, unavailable at pretty much every store within the area. This this is what I've been seeing every day. And like, I know it's like, yeah, you could just go to a carrier, sometimes you'll find it, but people wanna go to the Apple store, they want that Apple experience. It's been like this since this phone has launched. So Apple, you gotta get your stuff together with the stock and, and figure it out because this is what's hot right now. So based on my analysis here with you guys today, I would say if you're asking the question, Nick, should I should I get this phone already or should I just wait it out? And my, my thing is, is that I, I think you should get this phone if you really want it. It's, it's got pretty much everything you'll need. But if you're looking forward to seeing some bigger upgrades, maybe an ultra phone, I think 
that might be a reason to wait. And again, if you want the better battery life, the better camera, it's probably worth it. I also will state that this phone never really felt to me like a must upgrade. Like if you have a 13 Pro Max, 12 Pro Max, you can probably make it easily. Even 11 Pro Max, you could likely make it easily. But it's just a, a luxurious bump, you know, if it makes sense. Like you're just buying it because, you know, you want the new stuff. That's kind of how it feels this year. So if you're looking for something that's really going to change the game, this one probably won't do it too much, but you're still going to be very happy with your iPhone upgrade. So it's a go for sure. I think there's more reasons to upgrade than to wait. Let me know your thoughts on the 14 Pro and Pro Max. Are you going to still go for this phone? Are you still trying to grab this phone? Are you still waiting on yours to be delivered? Or are you just going to go with something else? Are you going to wait it out to the iPhone 15? I'd love to hear what you got to say down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me and subscribe for more. We got many more videos coming your way. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.